Right, those man. guys are all cool, man. Always, you know, you say hi to them, pay your respects, and don't right. be overly fucking annoying. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, you pop into a room. Hey, they, I'm a con-. You know, you got to know where you the know etiquette where you is. Yeah. Right. What, what, what would you say is the etiquette? Exactly. I just think, I mean, I don't know if there's any rules to it, but like, you know, you kind of learn quickly. Mm. If you're annoying, you're not going to be around there long, you know? Like, really? you're like, yeah, dude, if you're over there, they'll be like, hey, who the fuck is this guy? Get him out. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. That's why the tel- table at the cellar, you, no one, not everyone can just sit there, you know? Right. That's, you can't be, yeah. You got to earn your earn. spot. Right. So, like, once you are, when, and once you're at that spot, like, you, you know not to be annoying. So, mm. it's like, it naturally works itself out. Right. You know, and then there's like these fucking annoying guys that just start and they think, like, oh, I can just go talk to fucking Chappelle. He's, no, you can't. Oh. You know, like, you yeah, can't just so run weird. up there and talk to him. It's not like that, dude. You got to, like, kind of, like, right. have them see you a billion times at the club. Mm. Then they talk to you. Then you talk to them. You oh. know, it's not like, you just go and sit at them and say, hey, what's going on, man? So, are you, any shows coming up? Like, no, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's like, but, but people don't get it. I just want to fucking then, take you know, my shirt off. And you almost, like, it works itself out. Like, once you've been around for a long time, True. people know what the pecking order is and, like, how to, you know. Yeah, yeah. And not that you can't be, you know, carry yourself yeah. with some confidence and respect and shit, but, like. Yeah. You know, but know, your, know yourself and no, know yeah, your. No, yeah, you can't just know, jump into a conversation with guys that have been doing it for 40 years. Oh, and then you fuck. jump in as a two-year uh, guy and go, like, hey, Ugh. let me tell you my two cents. I go, what the fuck, what the fuck is this guy, bro? Yeah. Because the thing about comedy is we're in a profession that. The guy that just started is maybe on the same stage with a guy that makes fucking $50 million a year. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? A guy that gets Literally, paid bro. in nachos is on, this, <laughs> is on the same show with Literally, a guy that gets bro. paid $50 million Literally, yeah. and they're sitting maybe in the same green room. I know. It's and wild. then now that guy, like, you know what I mean? You got to know, like, hey, yeah. dude, I can't just go and fucking jump into this thing with these guys. That's and so they've been true. doing it for 30 years longer than me. Yeah. And then that's what I think is so important to comics too, to have your class. Like, you know, like yeah. I'm talking about like the guys you came up with and the guys mm-hmm. that you like kind of watch each other and you learn from and sure. you, in the beginning. Yeah. And then of course you kind of like, it fluctuates like, oh, right. you might hang out with the 15 year guy and you, right. you know, you might hang out with the lower level guy, right. whatever. Not that there's a rule on that, mm-hmm. but. But it just depends on like how good you are too, right? Yeah. Because if you like, if you're actually a good comic. Yeah, if you're like three years in and you're like fucking like your it? levels, like, right. and everyone recognizes right. that. And people then will like, like, they'll fuck with you. Yeah, they kind of let you in the yeah, fucking Yeah, they'll let you in a little bit. They're like, not too fast, gotta, bro. You got to earn right. it all. Yeah, you got to earn it. So you're saying like, I can't like, let's say I'm at the Laugh Factory. I'm in the green room. Yeah. Whatever. I'm on the show. As same as Adam Ray or but something But there like you that. go. So, so here's the deal with that. Like I got another guy, actually, uh, Joe, um, we just, he just opened for us in uh, uh, Damon. Joe Damon. I don't know if you know Joe him. Damon, no. Very funny guy out of uh, New Zealand. Okay. He just opened for us. Yeah. And I, I actually don't even want to tell his story because it may, I don't think he wants oh, he, he okay. didn't want me to tell. But anyways, there right. was a comic in the green room. Yeah, yeah. And Bill Burr was there. And he um, he goes up to Bill Burr. And mind you, like he's been doing comedy for, you know, a few years now, like f- five, eight years, something yeah, like yeah. that, I think. But but Bill doesn't know him and no, neither right. does that other comic. Of course. So in their frame of reference, we don't know you. Oh. You know, so... He said in New Zealand, yeah, you could just walk up and talk to anyone. And I get it. Yeah. You know, like you all have respect for each other. Yeah. But it's not like that in the States. Like, no. I got to have seen you or I got to know you. Like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, all the New York guys I know and they, right. they know of me or like mm-hmm. whatever. You know, the guys that are right. at the same level. Yeah. So you so if they came in the green room, we go, oh, what's up, man? You might mm-hmm. shoot the shit and talk. But like right. a guy, they don't even fucking know. You can't just walk up and be like and interrupt the conversation oh, to get into a conversation. Worse, so he just kind of interrupted those Bill Burr and the other comics conversation. Oh, no. And he just like was like hey bill what's up man like in the middle of their conversation and then the other guy got a little pissed at him and he went to shake his hand and the guy was like oh what because and then so i was explaining to joe that oh this guy doesn't even know who you know how long you've been in, uh, maybe he thinks you're an open micer that yeah. is, is is overstepping their you know yeah yeah whatever it's just like you can't just pop in and fucking do that right. when two guys are talking because <sighs> that's our office yeah, you know what i'm saying true. so it's like it's like the new guy in the office coming and fucking go, walking into your off, like right. the boss's office or whatever, oh, okay. and going, "Hey man, what's up, guys? What are you, guys <laughs> yeah. going, what are you having for lunch?" Like that would never right. happen. Damn. But, but like I said, we're in a profession where the highest paid guys or the top dogs are right there with the fucking lowest level yeah. guy at the same club, hanging out at the bar. Maybe that's so true, man. Yeah. Wow. That's. I mean, that's a good way to look at it. Actually, the boss and the new guy. Something it's like it's like something like it's that. Similar, Not yeah. to say that they. Yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just like a, a unspoken rule in a way. Right, and then yeah. you figure it out once you've been right. doing it. Exactly. So I think that's what. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. 